Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here in the bathroom. Uh, for any new subscribers or new people watching, hello. This is a bathroom in the east coast of Scotland, uh, about an hour north of Edinburgh, Scotland's capital. My name's Kevy, and uh, here on this channel, we like to have a bit of fun. We shave, sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's not so serious. You know, but that's the way we roll here. Um, <laughs> so, it's good to see you. Um, let me show you what we're using today. A bit of a, a yake themed shave. Um, I got some new products just sent through, so I thought I'd show them, use them, let me, let you, <laughs> let you know what my thoughts are on them. Um, right, let me show you the head first. They sent this new razor head. Um, let me just get a little plastic washer off that so I can show you it. This is uh, the, I just dropped it. The little washer. Uh, this is called the Yaki Telstar. Uh, here it is here. It's a 316L stainless steel. Um, it kind of looks like a cross between, I don't know, the Razor Rock Lupo, and a little bit like the Edwin Jagger 316. It has bits of those in it, but it's beautifully made. Um, yeah, really nice. Nicely machined. All looks great. I think this is, you can get this for maybe about, uh, did I write the price down? I think it's something about maybe 25 pounds, 20, between 25 and 30 pounds. So it's roughly that, but there it is there. Uh, inside that I'm gonna put a uh, second use Astra Green. So I shall get that out of the wrapper. Astra Superior Platinum. This must be one of the older blades because it's, uh, I don't think they have this um, kind of bold right now. It's all like etched on. Right, let's put the, the razor on the head. Put that on. No overhang. I've got a little plastic washer. I put that on there. And this, uh, the handle I'm going to use, that's a yaki handle as well. Uh, they have little stands that you can put these on. I have a, a couple of them, but. Um, this this handle is uh, stainless steel as well, um, so I'll just put it on there. But you can use any handle with these heads; they're all standard size M5 threads. I mean, look at that! That looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, all 316L stainless steel razor. Uh, is it branded with Yaki? Yeah, it is on the side here. If you can see that, there you go. Yeah, so very nice. Looks great. I don't know if it's aggressive or if it's not aggressive. Blade alignment spot on, absolutely bang on. Yeah, no overhang, good weight in that. Um, the brush is a, a new one they've just released. Uh, this is the Freedom Brush. Now, uh, you may have seen me using a Freedom Brush from Yaki before, and it, uh, it was the, the French flag. This one is the Italian flag. Uh, so here it's here. The knot, synthetic knot. I think it, it looks like a cashmere knot. It has the Yaki coin on the bottom there, which is nice. Yaki, what does that say? Professional shaving. Oh no, professional. Gee, I've got a lot to live up to now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here it is here, the Italian flag. Uh, cashmere knot, synthetic, very, very soft. Not much backbone, but we'll go with it. They also just, um, sent you very recently uh, this. This is called the green, a little sample. This is based on Lacoste green. Uh, and you get a little sample of the splash as well. Now, the good thing about this is, you can buy these little sample pots. These are made for Yaki by Master Soap Creations in South Africa, so you know it's gonna be good. Uh, there's the soap there, 27 grams. So a good amount of soap there for a good, I don't know, maybe 15 shaves. Just to try it out, scent on that, yeah. If you know Lacoste Green, it's a, it's a kind of clean, fresh, citrusy scent. But they do these little sample pots, very good. Um, so if you want to try the soap out before purchasing a whole tub and then find out, mm, I don't really like that scent or anything, or it doesn't perform enough well enough for me, uh, you can try it these little sample pots and a little sample splash. I don't know if this one has um, menthol in it, 
most of the yucky ones do and they're absolutely <laughs> crazy menthol but I don't know if this one does let me have a, a quick sniff <sighs> doesn't smell like it but uh, I think the last yucky one I used my eyes were streaming it was really really strong menthol uh, now the razor I used in the last shave the yucky adjustable the version 3 the final cut the chrome razor um, they're also releasing a gunmetal one I think at the end of January so this is kind of just still at the start of January but it might be on the site you can go and have a look uh, what they sent one through so here it is here that's not the razor I'm using today just to just to show you guys what it looks like in the the gunmetal as opposed to the chrome finish so it's just the actual sleeve of the handle there this bottom bit's chrome yeah very nice very very nice there you go so that's that that's for a future release but once it comes out I'll use it I'll let you know uh, when it comes out also this is it's, um, I think the shaving gods were looking after me uh, at the weekend well they weren't and then when I got home today from work they were um, I broke my uh, brush stand I have a little brush stand I have a couple of them but I couldn't find the other ones in the, the warehouse of shaving gear <laughs> so um, in the package from Yaki today was a new stand Ah, I couldn't believe it but this one is for a brush and a razor so the brush fits in like that and you can also put your razor or whatever in like that so there it is there yeah so just just what <laughs> just what I needed a new stand right that's all the products shown we'll see you next time <laughs> no we're going to shave um, I've took some of the uh, the green soap I've pressed into the bottom of my Captain's Choice copper bowl I've got it blooming here so I'll just take that look at that razor I'll just take that and uh, put that on my face right so take this uh, bloom water Yeah, it's a lovely scent this. I've used the, uh, the full tub before, but it's nice to get um, a sample pot. And they're not expensive, they're only about three and a half pounds, something like that. So five, five dollars or five euros, not even five euros. And it's usually free shipping from Yaki. It does take a bit of time to get from China, but um, worth it, I think. A lot of bloom water there. <laughs> oh, we'll just rub that into the whiskers. Let the soap do its work. Yeah, very slick. Made by Master Soap Creations for Yaki. So, uh, a very good artisan from South Africa. How are you doing? How's uh, the weather where you are? The weather here is the same as it was yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before. Dull grey. <laughs> right. I'll wet this brush. I'll squeeze it out. Give it a flick. Right, here we go. Clank, clank, clank. Yeah, as I say, I've used this before. Nice scent. Lacoste Green. If you know Lacoste Green, you'll know what this uh, soap smells like. I've never had Lacoste Green. I've had Lacoste Red, which was nice. Just put some water in that. Yeah, whipping up no problem with this brush. The Italian flag Freedom brush from... I'm not going to say Yachi. Some people have started getting all arsey saying it's not Yaki, it's Yachi. Is it? <laughs> my, well, my name's Kevyai, not Kevy, it's Kevyai. <laughs> Some people have started getting arsey. Yaki, Yachi, 
Yakai, Yaki, Waiake. Yeah. Say it how you want. <laughs> I'm just going to say Yaki. That's what I've always said. So, right, beautiful, beautiful ladder. Look at that. Really nice. Right, let's bring this to the face. really soft um, knot in this brush so if you like backbone on the brushes this probably isn't for you but if you like a soft brush with a nice feeling on the face creating a lather this one's for you <laughs> I sound like a, a cabaret singer okay for this next song I'd like to uh, dedicate it to my mother if you like uh, brushes on your face, <laughs> I'd like to dedicate my, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> if you like soft brushes on your face, um, with not much backbone, really soft to create a nice, creamy, thick lather, this one's for you, baby. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this to my mother. <laughs> She'll be looking down going, what the hell are you talking about? Again, as usual, great lather, great, great lather. Look at that. Fantastic. I think we'll go with that. Yeah. Right, let's put some uh, heat into this cold steel. Right, the Yaki Telstar head with the uh, Astro Green and the Yaki handle, the stainless steel. Oh boy. Smooth, baby. That feels really nice. Yeah, there's, um, there's a little bit of blade feel. It doesn't feel aggressive, though. Not like an aggressive amount of blade feel. Yeah, there's a bit of debate going on as to... Um, you see it occasionally on the forums and stuff about Yaki copying stuff and... Um, my thoughts on it, if anyone's interested, <laughs> are... Um, yeah, some of them are copies, they do look like other things, not exact copies, but personally I think it's just giving people more choice. I know artisans are uh, you know it's hard to compete with a big company like Yaki. But there will always be artisans. Uh, people are passionate about things so they'll always be there. I think. You know, there'll always be people who can either want to buy artisan stuff and they can afford it, so that's what they'll do. And uh, there'll always be people that think, well, that's much cheaper. I just want a good shave. I want a nice looking razor. So I'm going to buy that. But there will, there will, 
people will always buy one or the other, you know, there's there's a debate, a whole other debate um, to get involved with, but it's not time for that just now, it's time to rinse off and uh, have a feel and think, <laughs> wow, that feels amazing. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two and we'll talk some more. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, one little uh, weeper there. I noticed when I was rinsing it, but anyway. Right, back to this brush. So, Yeah, nice scent on this. Yaki soap from MSC in South Africa. Let's take some more from the bowl here. Look at that. Yeah, so getting back to the chat. Second pass across the green, across the green, across the growth, across the hair, across the face. Um, yeah, shaving, um, it's a personal thing. You know, although I'm sharing it with you guys, but 99.9% .9 of people will go into the bathroom lock the door, shut the door, get the shave ready, and it's uh, it's just a, a bit of you time. So it's very personal as to what you use, what you want to buy, depending what your budget is, stuff like that, how much uh, income you have to spend on different types of gear and stuff. You know, some people just like buying high-end stuff because they can afford it, that's great. Whereas other people have uh, one razor, one brush, and they use one soap until it's finished, and then they buy another one. <sighs> and they call us weird. <laughs> yeah, this uh, I would probably say this feels on a, if I was comparing it to another razor, it's smooth. It feels a bit like the Mueller Rocker, not as not as much blade feel, but it has that same kind of uh, feel to it. Just very smooth, nice. It's getting the job done, no problems. It's the only thing with the Yaki, they never tell you the the blade gaps, stuff like that. Look at that. It doesn't look that much of a blade gap, does it? But feels good. Yeah, so that's a like a you can buy that the handle any handle. You actually do a few stainless steel handles. That head for uh, I think less than probably about 50, 60 pounds for a three one six L stainless steel razor. Pretty good value, I think. But and um, there you go. Right, second pass. <laughs> There's hardly anything left there. Right, let me rinse, we'll come back for pass number three. Okay, back for the third pass. Yeah, I'm just feeling about, um, yeah, there's, you could hear that. Here, it feels like glass. <laughs> but we'll go for a third pass. There's still uh, plenty of lather left in this bowl. Look at that. Can you see the shine on that? There's more lather on my shirt and uh, on the floor here than, than there is on my face, but uh, that's the way I roll. How was your um, New Year 
diets going. <laughs> it's tough, isn't it? Yeah, we're all we're uh, trying to eat a bit more healthy. Not eat so much uh, chocolate and crisps, snacks. It's tough. Oh, it's tough. Especially in this horrible weather when it's cold and dark outside, and and you come in and you open the fridge and there's a some leftover chocolates from uh, Christmas that, that some aunt or something has bought you. You know these expensive ones. And then you open the fridge and it's like, Kevy, Kevy, come eat us chocolate, chocolate. And I'm like, no. <laughs> it's tough. Yeah, I should just really throw them out, but I hate wasting stuff, so <laughs> I think to myself, oh, no, no. We'll have, we say, we'll just have one, one a week. <laughs> have I had mine this week? No, I better have another one, I can't remember. Uh, right, <laughs> third pass. Listen to that. Yeah, that's what it feels like. A little bit like the Mueller rocker. With a little less blade feel. It's very smooth. I've not used the, uh, the stainless steel Lupo. So I don't know if it's exactly the same as that or I've only used the, uh, the aluminium one. The Yaki Tell Star. Does anyone in the UK remember the, uh, <laughs> the Tell Star records you used to get back in the 70s? They used to be like compilations of uh, kind of songs that were in the charts. I think they were called Top of the Pops actually, and they were always released on a, a record label called Tell Star. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Quite easy to get under the nose with this. Not too uh, bulky a, a profile. It looks it there, but that's actually just the, the bottom cap. I like the design of that handle, uh, the, the head, it's nice. Nice. Yeah, look, there's that weeper. We use the Allen block, see how it feels. Right, let me have a quick rinse. And a quick feel about. Wow. Yeah, usual spot under here. Feels good there, feels good there. Yeah, just under here. I was, um, I was thinking about the last shave. Oops, there's another bit. <laughs> Big blob of lather on the floor. The last shave when I was saying, um, wow, that went really quick. And then when I edit it, edited it, it came out at about 30, <laughs> nearly 37 minutes. I was like, how on earth did that happen? I didn't cut the video like for in between passes and I was just, but I was just yak, yak, yak. Right, time for the pickups. Yeah, 37 minutes, but that's okay. 
I like to give my uh, subscribers and viewers <laughs> value for money. <laughs> None of this 20 minutes, 15 minutes stuff. You pay your entrance fee to get in here, which is your internet charge. So uh, I give you value for money. <laughs> right, tiny little bit down there. Oh, I missed that bit. Very light touch. That's got it. Perfect. Right, let's uh, rinse and then we'll use the Allen block. Cold water rinse. Right, let's get the Allen. Oh. Run that under the cold water. Here we go. Nothing, nothing. Tiny bit down here. That's where a little trouble spot. That little bit there. That, bit that little weeper is. Nothing on this side. Wow. Really good. Yeah, no feedback at all. Apart from on this little bit. No feedback at all. Apart from that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. <laughs> no, there's, there's, uh, there's not much. It's a good shave. Good shave. Right. What I'll do is, I'll leave this on, let it do its thing, let them um, close up the pores, any little nicks and stuff, with this little weeper here. We'll just leave that on and then I'll have a face wash with the remainder of that lather, clean up the gear, rinse off with hot, hot and cold water, have a face wash, blah -de blah I'll be back for the post shave. See you soon. <sighs> what a great shave. Yeah, very comfortable. Skin feels nice. Very close, BBS. Right, what I'm gonna do is, the post shave is just going to be the matching splash. Uh, Yaki the green, but in case there's menthol on it, I'll show you what else we've used first because if I use that now and then my eyes are streaming, I won't be able to see anything and stuff like that. So uh, the razor was the Yaki Telstar head on the Yaki stainless steel handle. I'll put links for everything um, and you can go and have a look on the uh, AliExpress website. Here's the head again here. Yeah, Astra green blade, second use on it. Yeah, nice lather. I like these uh, lather channels and stuff like that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, stainless steel head uh, with the yaki handle, stainless steel handle. There we go, that's it there. Beautiful, really nice. Um, a little bit of blade feel, but not a great deal, but it's very smooth. Uh, reminds me a little bit of the Mueller Rocca, if you know that, so quite an efficient razor but it feels great, really nice. I wouldn't say it's mild at all. I wouldn't say it's really mild, it's just uh, there's a little bit of, uh, yeah, like like the Mueller Rocca, maybe the uh, the Blackland um, Blackbird. Not as much blade feel as those two though. Um, it has a little less blade feel, but that was that was the razor, very good. Uh, the brush was the new Yaki Freedom Italian flag with the coin in the bottom there, very good. Professional shaving. <laughs> Not here. Um, with the, <laughs> it looks like a cashmere knot. I think twenty four millimeter. Very soft. Not much backbone, but whipped the lather up great. Uh, use the captain's choice bowl here, the copper one. I'll just put that there. Uh, and this was the soap uh, sample of Yaki the Green based on Lacoste Green. Nice soap, nice scent. Um, very very good. Whipped up the lather, no problem. Uh, Master Soap Creations make that for Yaki uh, and their soaps are A-OK. -okay. They're very good actually. Uh, three passes, pickups, then we use the Allen block. There's one little weeper down here, it's still... Yeah, it's kind of closed it up. Um, face wash, rinsed it off and we're back with the splash. So here we go. Yeah, there's no restrictor in this so just give it a little shake. You put your finger over the, the top Oh, that's a good glug. Just 
smells exactly like the soap. Yep, and I don't think there's any menthol in it, which is good. Yeah, it's not um, affecting my eyes anyway. That's nice. Yeah, it smells, smells just like the soap. So if you know what um, Lacoste Green smells like, this is it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so it's just a good, a good way to try out the, the soap and splash from Yaki, rather than buying the whole thing, uh, the whole aftershave and the whole, uh, the whole soap. You might find out if you like it that you'll want the whole tub and, and uh, bottle of aftershave after that, but there you go. It's a good way to try it. Right. Um, that's all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. I've enjoyed using uh, these products. There'll probably be more stuff from Yaki comes out. I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm expecting anything. Uh, they never tell me when they're sending stuff. They just send it and I, I open the package and I don't know what's in it. They don't give you any information, any stuff like that. So it's good that I can just kind of have a feel about it and see how it feels and how it looks and performs and stuff like that. And hopefully you guys can make your mind up as well. Um, I'll always give you honest opinions on this channel. Um, if I don't like something or if it has too much blade feel or if it's too aggressive, I'll tell you and uh, stuff like that. But uh, there you go. Yeah, right, okay. Um, enjoy your shaves and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.